Today's video is a recommendation that I have. So whenever I have a virus, whether it's COVID or literally anything else, then what I like to do is of course, take my medications and what have you. But as I'm drifting off to sleep, I like to imagine that I am extracting the virus from my very being. And I did this back when I had COVID months ago. And I imagined it was like a black swarm, almost like that's the Spider-Man movies where the venom is coming onto the body or it's going and it's moving and it really has its own consciousness. In my imagination, as I laid perfectly still in my bed, drifting off to sleep, was that I was extracting myself from my body and using my force to pull and extract all of this viral load out of my body. And from there, it was mind blowing what would go on. <laughs> I would pull it out, out of my body and it would almost like a magnet comes trying to come right on back inside my body. And then I had to use my imagination. I had to start erecting different defense mechanisms. I had to put a wall blocking this viral load from coming back into my body. And then it would hit the wall and start going above. So I had to put ultimately a box around my body. And I'm like, well, now I'm trapped and the virus has all of the world <laughs> to explore. So then I just, in my imagination, took that box and just infinitely expanded it outward until the virus was literally nowhere to be seen. Now, did that do anything in terms of physiology? Who knows? <laughs> I'm not here to claim that it is doing absolutely anything in terms of a clinical standpoint. Rather, this is all for your mind. I fell asleep nearly instantly after that and it helped me keep my spirits high. And that's all I'm here to recommend you to do is do whatever you need to do to keep your spirits high when you are under some viral load, some infection, some whatever that you have going on in your life. You know, one question I did have is, do I just try to extract this virus metaphysically and launch it into the ether or into some faraway distance that I can't see? Well, is that any different than launching bombs to other foreign countries? No, you're ultimately going to affect somebody in some way that is meaningful to them. And so what do we do when we are extracting this virus metaphysically and we're trying to get it outside of our body but not go into someone else's body? Well, this is my recommendation for that. What I found use in doing was that I would be standing here. I would be extracting this virus in my imagination from my body to be at some distance that was close enough that I can still interact with. And then like a strike of lightning, I would shine holy white light upon this virus. And it would be almost changing and morphing and mutating into something more positive because what else are we gonna do with it? Depending on the infection that I've had, I've noticed that when I extract the virus out of my body, then it does one of two things. Number one, it stays there and I can manipulate it as I please. But number two, it tries its hardest to come right on back like a slingshot. And what I do in those two different situations varies depending on the situation. I can certainly share some more stories I have and more experiences I have doing just this, but ultimately it, it really comes down to how well do we have a control over our imagination and can we use it for our own self and collective benefit? And if you have any better ways of doing so, then let me know. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.